Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Maria and we've got Carrie. But don't just sit there, pickles. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Let's go outside. It's a beautiful day. Oh, who wants a shot in Granny Murray's seesaw? Ready? Push. Whee! Woo! That's fantastic. We've got Maria and we've got Carrie. But someone's missing from home today. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Whose legs are those coming down the steps? Oh, it's Rebecca. Yes, with Mickey John. Hello there. Hello, Mickey John. Come on, darlings. Come and see Rebecca. Hello, Come chaps. Come and see Rebecca. Now, Rebecca, we'll do something new. Why don't we dress Claude up as a big strong man? Off you go, my darlings. Strong man, you mean like me, Granny Murray? Oh, yes, Mickey John! <laughs> <laughs> so, Granny Murray, what have you got planned for today? Well, I'm taking the children for a walk around the city and then we're all going to get ourselves weighed. Oh, it's a great idea and it might help the children to understand how heavy things are. It'll make it much easier for them when they get to the big school. Oh, do some of your children not understand about how heavy things are? Well, it can be tricky. Take my Rebecca, for example. She can never work out how she can't lift me up, no matter how hard she tries, but I can lift her right up in the air, no problem. Are you Superman in disguise or something? Ah, uh, not really, but I bet I can lift you up, Granny Murray. No, stop it now, Mickey John, you can't lift me. Oh, come on, let's try anyway. No, no, come no, on. oh, no, away with you now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. oh, no, careful, easy does it. On three, on three. One, two, three. Oh! 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 How did you manage to lift me so easily? Well, the important thing about lifting things is how you lift them. Uh, come and have a look. Oh. <laughs> now, if I want to lift this big cushion, I bend my leg at the knees, grab hold of the cushion, and then push up with my legs. See? Oh, now I see. It's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Oh, oh you look at Claude. Oh, oh. Well, you certainly look like a strong man now, Claude. Here you are. Oh, what's this? A balancing butterfly. This looks like fun too. I'll take it to school with me. Thanks, love. Goodbye, Dad. Oh, have fun with Granny Murray. Come on, pumpkin. Now remember, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Mickey John? Make sure he goes the right way to work. I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, 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 put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. Rebecca's balancing butterfly. <laughs> See, saw, Marjorie door. <laughs> Playtime oh. already, Mickey John. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Rudy, I was just getting ready for today's lesson. <laughs> I'll believe you, thousands wouldn't. I just thought I'd pop in and say hello after taking an order from the canteen. <laughs> hey, did you hear? Why wouldn't the owl sing when it was raining? I don't know. <laughs> because he said he was too wet to woo. <laughs> Oh. oh, you'll like this one too. What's the... D 
Oh, you'll have to save that one for later, Rudy. It's nine o'clock. Here comes my class. You better start work. <laughs> oh, I suppose you're right. I'd better get back to work too. Oh, um, could you come back a bit later and give the class a quick chat about weighing things? It's uh, my special project. <laughs> Sorry, Mickey John. I'm going to be really busy at the market today. I'll tell you what, though. I'll have some stuff sent over to help you teach the kids about how much things weigh. Oh, that would be great. See you, Rudy. <laughs> Bye. All the best. Right, now. Can you all get on with some silent reading while I take the register? I wonder if Rebecca's set off on her walk yet. I love to skip in rivers and bingle, rivers and bingle by the sea. I love to skip in rivers and bingle, rivers and bingle. That's Bye -bye. funny. Oh, have a lovely day. <laughs> I wish I could be a flag in the wall and see Rebecca at nursery. What's it like at your school, Daddy? Special delivery for a Mickey John! Let's see just exactly what Rudy sent over. Oh, oh. oh there are bananas and uh, turnips. Oh, and a coconut. <laughs> all sorts of things. I'll be able to use all of these to teach the children about weighing things. Thanks for bringing them over. Bye. <laughs> we'll do some weighing later, but there's still lots of hard work for me to do at school. Oh, my day is so busy. Oh, I work with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes and the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew Answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want joy when I go to school in the morning. Can I talk now? Yes, you can talk now, Louis. Great. It's lunchtime. Great. Rudy sent these over. It's a spare set of scales from his stall. Very high tech. Oh, is that one of those scales that talks? Oh, let's try it out. Come on, put it on my desk. Oh, one cabbage, wasn't it, darling? Here. Here's this one here. Fresh this morning. 0.5 kilos. Incredible! Whatever will they think of next? Let's try this coconut. Right. 1.2 kilos. <laughs> brilliant, just brilliant. Oh, this will be very useful later today. Thanks, Louis. No probs, Mickey John. Catch you later. Now, what can I weigh next? <laughs> of course, Rebecca's butterfly. Five grams. Rebecca would love to see this. I wonder what she's doing right now. Then it is there. Here we are, a special weighing machine. Oh, it looks fancy, doesn't it? And it speaks your weight. <laughs> I went on last week and it said, Granny Murray, stop eating pies. <laughs> now, let's get the money out. Here we are. That's us. 16 kilos. 16 kilos? Wow, wait till we tell your dad that one, eh? 
kid kiddo. Whee! I'm thinking of you, Daddy. I hope you are having fun, my love. Hiya. Oh, Bobby, what brings you here? I've just been showing my friend around the school. He's thinking about sending his son Lawrence here. Ah, a brilliant choice, Bobby. I hope your friend has seen how great the school is. The teachers are incredible, especially me. <laughs> <laughs> we go on trips to museums and we have all the latest technology, all the latest high-tech gadgets to teach the children about weighing things. Here, take a look. Oh, wow. So, um, how does that work then? Oh, there's nothing to it. You see this coconut? It weighs... 1.2 kilograms. 1.2 kilograms. And uh, this turnip, it weighs... 0.8 0 kilograms. 0.8 kilograms. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah, sort of. Although, I still don't really understand how much things weigh. Eh? Well, just because these amazing newfangled scales can tell me that this turnip weighs 0 0.8 kilos, what does that mean? Eh? Is it heavy or is it light? Does this turnip weigh the same as three carrots? That sort of thing. I don't know. Call me old-fashioned. Anyway, I'd best be off. Good luck with your class later. Bye. But, but... Oh, I thought these new scales would help the children to understand all about weighing things. But maybe Bobby's right. Mm. Oh, one o'clock. Time for class to start again. Oh, I want to teach the class all about how heavy and light different things are. But I don't know how to now. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Rebecca at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children for a walk today. And they were going to weigh themselves, just for fun. It gave me the idea to teach my class all about weighing things. At 9 o'clock, Rudy popped into the class with a joke for me. I told him about my weighing lesson, and he said he'd send some stuff over to help me teach the class about weighing things. At 10 o'clock, Louis interrupted our silent reading to bring in a big box of fruit and vegetables for my weighing lesson. At 12 o'clock, the children went for their lunch. Louis called by again with Rudy's special talking scales. We had fun listening as we weighed different vegetables. At 1 o'clock, Bobby popped in to say hello. I showed her the talking scales, but she still didn't understand about weighing things. She said she wanted to know whether things were light or heavy, or whether a cabbage weighed the same as three potatoes. And the talking scales can't show that. Now remember, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Granny Murray said, it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. That's it. I have to make a different sort of scales where we can see how things balance or are too heavy or too light. Something like a seesaw. The class are waiting for their lesson. It's a race against time. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it. I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's a show us we are friends, he will get there in the end. Because he has what he should do, I'm working for him. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. With my new seesaw skill, it's much easier to see what's heavy or light. So, are you ready to do some more weighing? Yeah! <laughs> Me too. Okay. Uh, this parsnip and this banana. Which is heavier? Yes. Banana? Let's see, shall we? Banana. Parsnip. Oh, well, they're about the same, aren't they? Right. Now, a turnip and a lettuce. Now, which one is heavier? Yes. Lettuce? Oh, you think the lettuce is heavier? Well, it's certainly bigger, isn't it? Let's have a look. Right in there, a bit of a tight squeeze. The turnip. Oh, the turnip's heavier, even though it's smaller. You see? You only ever really learn about weights when you see them in action. Oh, wow! Look at that! That's a special weighing machine.
machine to weigh the lorries. That must weigh about 50 tonnes. That's 20 elephants. Can you imagine? Oh, I bet your dad would love to bring his class to see this, wouldn't he? Oh, here, talking about dad. We better get home soon. He'll be here to pick you up, won't he? That's it, keep safe. Come on, you two. here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying it's amazing what you can learn when you see how something's done. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a strong man. Then Mickey John lifted me up <laughs> and fell over. That gave Mickey John the idea of teaching his class about weighing things. Then I took the children to weigh ourselves. It was brilliant fun. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Bye. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary. But don't just sit there, puppets. Let's have some fun. Oh, wow, flags. Do you know that all different countries have a different flag? This is the American flag, British flag. Like this one. This is a Italian flag. What we're going to do today is we are going to make our own flags. We'll stick on the straw. Now you can do anything you like. I think my flag might have swirly bits. You gonna copy that one, good boy? And you doing a flower field? <laughs> well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Yes, it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. Oh, we don't want to get him over excited, do we? How about stopping the pats and dressing up Claude? <laughs> that's right, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh, he'll get a good view there while you dress Claude up in lots and lots of flags. Should we have a sit down? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All these flags remind me. It should be day today, isn't it? You're going abroad? That's right, I'm taking the ferry boat and then I'm doing a sponsored bike ride. Oh, well, pass me your sponsor sheet. I'll sponsor you. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you've got a lot of sponsors. Well, everyone's been so kind. Since you're going such a long way from home today, I thought I would take Samson to the pet shop for a wee treat. <laughs> Sounds like you're both going to be so busy, he won't have time to miss me. Oh, no worries there. Well, actually, there is something that I am a bit worried about. Oh, what's that? Foreign languages. It's not my strong point. Never mind, darling. A smile can work wonders. Oh, here, take this with you for luck. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. <laughs> Oh, wow, check you out, Claude. A real man of the world. That's well done, darlings. Oh. Bye, Samson. Oh. Bye. Come on, then. Now remember, a smile works wonders. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. Mm -hmm. 
I'm in a bit of a hurry. How can I get to work quickly? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the tramway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That squeaky, squeaky to a stop. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. Ooh. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, hurry, I need to get changed. All oh, dressed and ready to go. Hey, Nurse Hendry. Morning, super cyclist. Are you all limbered up and ready to go? Just about. I've got some supplies for you. I've got water, an energy bar, some emergency euros, mm -hmm. and a first aid kit. Oh, I hope I won't need that. I bet if you do, then there it is. Oh, and of course, a puncture repair kit. Oh, that's brilliant. Thanks a million. <laughs> no problems, Dr. Jane. Good luck. Right. I've got my gear, my bicycle, ooh, and the kit from Nurse Hendry, and the flag from Granny Murray. I think that's everything. Or was there something else? Don't go anywhere without this. Satellite navigation unit. You mentioned that you'd lend that to me. Yeah, it's great for long journeys. I take it hiking with me. Cool. Thanks. Oh, that reminds me. Check this out. <laughs> Un kilometer. But I don't speak French. I don't want directions in French. All right, all right. Calm yourself down. It's really easy to change it. There. Au revoir. <laughs> well, thanks, Mickey John. Bye. <laughs> Nearly set to go. I wonder how my doggy pal Samson's getting on. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, that's for me. Boys, do you think you could find me a nice treat for Samson here? That's fun! Oh, this one here? Oh, fantastic! Oh, he misses Dr. Judo, doesn't he? There, we'll play with that, won't we? He'll get plenty of exercise running after that ball, won't he? More than Dr. Judo gets in our bike. Fare thee well, Dr. Juno. Oh, Chuck, Louie! Don't take off your helmet! It might be a rough crossing. Oh, no. Just joking! <laughs> <laughs> We're here to make sure you have a relaxing journey before your sponsored bike ride. Oh, you guys! <laughs> well, hey! We're off! Time to start work! <laughs> oh, the fairy boat band, they play the fairy boat sails away Floating down the river to the ocean waves Captain steers his way as engine pound away, turning down the river to the rhythm of the band. The radar swings, the very band sings. The captain taps his satellite map, sailing out to sea on the noon tide. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand, bump to the music and stamp your feet. Play the waiter's servants wait, clattering the trays to the splash of the waves. The sailors work away as passengers dream their day, eating in the buffet as the ferry band play. I'm sailing out to sea, riding on the waves, rocking to the ocean roar. As the ferry boat band did play some more. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Clap your hands to the ferry boat band Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand Bob to the music and stamp your feet Wait for my 
cycle ride. Which way first? Oh yes, if you just sound like navigator will tell me which way to go. Turn right. Turn right. Now for a rest before I go back. I wonder whether Samson's getting as much exercise as I am. Will we go this way or will we go that way? That, that way. way. Come on in. Let's go this way. Round we go. That's it. Come on, Samson. Oh, all those leaves crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> We've been here before, haven't we? Yes. Oh, we'll go that way. Oh, look, Samson. There's a lady on a bike. Who does that remind you of? <coughs> Now, Samson, I have to make my way back to the ferry. Two kilometres, Tony Edouard. My sat nav is talking to me in French, but I can't understand French. I don't know my way back to the ferry boat, and if I don't hurry, I'm going to miss the ferry home. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock this morning, I called into Granny Murray's to drop off Samson. She was going to look after him for the day, while I went on a sponsored bicycle ride. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the hospital and Nurse Henry came to see me. He prepared a special bag with all kinds of things in it that I might need for the long journey on my bicycle. I was about to leave when Mickey John dropped in. He lent me his satellite navigation unit so I could find my way around without getting lost. Mickey John showed me that the sat nav unit could speak in French as well as English. At nine o'clock, I set off on my bicycle. At 10 o'clock, I was on board the ferry boat and ready to set sail. At 1 and 2 o'clock, I cycled along the canal. At 3 o'clock, I stopped at the end of my journey for a rest before I returned. I was just about to set off again when I pressed a button on my sat-nav unit. I don't know what I pressed, but it started speaking to me in French. And I don't understand French. Now remember, a smile works wonders. Smile works wonders. Hello, excuse me. Hi. Bonjour. Oh, can you help? Je ne parle que le français, pardon. Oh, oh, well, I'm trying to get back to the ferry boat, um, and my sat nav only speaks French. Oh. Ah, ah, attendez. Ah, je vois. Vous devez rentrer chez vous. Vous cherchez le chemin pour le bac. OK. Suivez-moi. Hein? OK. I have to get back to the ferry boat. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. You've made it. We were 
nothing to worry that you'd missed the ferry boat. Had a bad day? Get lost. Had trouble with the language? Shall, Shall we, we just sing, sing the, the song? song? <laughs> Sails away, floating down the river to the ocean waves. The captain steers his way as engine pound away, turning down the river to the rhythm of the band. The radar swings, the very band sings. The captain taps his satellite map, sailing out to sea on the noon tide. Clap your hands to the ferry boat band, wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beats. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand. Bump to the music and stamp your feet. Clap your hands to the very boat band. Wriggle to the rhythm of the engine beat. Swing to the sway like the waves on the sand. Bump to the music and stamp your feet. <laughs> Ooh, we'll be home soon. And you'll get to see Samson. Ready? Way through this time. Are we ready? Oops, one, two, three. Hey! Clever boy, Samson! One, two, three! Yay! Oh, and you're so good and patient. You've waited all day for Dr. Juno. Don't worry, Samson. Shall we here soon to take you home? Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Oh, good boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. A smile works wonders. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, baking, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, flying, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed from top to toe in flags. He did look a sight. Dr Juno stopped by to drop off Samson. She needed someone to look after him for the day because she was going abroad on a sponsored bike ride. I gave Dr Juno a little flag to take away to wish her luck on her trip. I took Samson to the pet shop and we bought him a new ball. Then we went to the nature reserve with the children. We walked for miles and miles. Later on, I gave Samson his ball and we played in the garden. Dr Juno had adventures too and found her way all the way to Belgium and back on her bike because she found that a smile worked wonders. So, Dr Juno raised money for the hospital and had a fantastic day out. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Or should I say, au revoir. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. And don't just sit there, my wee cherry pies. Come on, let's get busy. What's Granny Murray got on the shelf today? Whoa, you see? Thank you for that good boy. Thank you for that good boy. Let's see how much money we can make. We've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Danny Money? <laughs> it's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello there. Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson boy. Come on, Dave. Come 
Say hello to Samson, everyone. <laughs> oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, gentlemen, darlings. <laughs> well, how about we stop the packs and we dress up Claude? Oh, good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh. Good boy. Oh, you'll get a good view from there while we dress Claude up as. Oh, what should we dress Claude up as today, Doctor? Do you know? Hmm, something calm. Something calm. Ooh, what about a seagull? Yeah. <laughs> they always make me feel calm when they swoop down over the sea. Mm. Oh, lovely. Mm, come, let us glide to our chairs. Bless. <laughs> oh, I wish I was always as calm as you seem to be, Dr. Juno. Well, but I... then I've always got my problems. Problems? Yes, well, my knee. Oh, your knee? Mm, it's been twitching. Mm. Why would that be? Well, it could be. Cause... And then my back. Oh, the terrible itch I've had. An itch? Yes. Oh, it's been dreadful. Mm. And did I tell you about my tummy? Your tummy? Mm. Well, it's been whining and gurgling all through the night. Dear, did you eat something before you went to sleep? Oh, no, nothing out of the ordinary. Mm. But I had an itchy nose. But I thought you had an itchy back. Did I? Mm. How did you know? Oh, you clever girl, Dr. Juno. You've made me feel so much better. <laughs> I have? Yes, just sharing your troubles can half your worries. <laughs> oh, here. Who's this? This is Woolart. Since Samson's staying here, you can take him to work to keep you company. Oh, thank you. I'll look after him. Oh, look at Claude. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, what a whopper of a seagull, Claude. <laughs> Mind you, I wouldn't like to be standing underneath this bird for too long. He's a big bird. <laughs> Bye, Samson. <sighs> oh, now you be good while I see Dr. Juno out. <laughs> Just remember, sharing your troubles can half your worries. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell Pedaling my way as the cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. <laughs> Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way. Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. <laughs> All scrubbed and ready to go. Morning, Dr. Juno. Good morning, Nurse Hendry. Oh. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Sorry. Is everything okay? Yes. No. Oh, I've had such a terrible start to the day. The journey to work was awful. The traffic was nose to tail all the way in. As a result, I was late, then boom, I trolley ran over my toes, and I just seem to be playing catch up with everything today. Well, it sounds like you need some lessons in how to stay calm. Taking your time will help. Slow down. Now, a hospital needs to be calm, so does its staff. 
How else can we expect people to get better if they can't come in here and feel relaxed? Oh, calm. You're right, Dr Juno. I've got to stay nice and calm. <sighs> I wonder how my Samson's feeling right now. Kiddles. I love this park, Samson. It's so peaceful and calming. <laughs> I think Dr. Juno would like it here too. Well, Willard, you're not quite the same as my Samson, but you are rather cute. At least you don't woof at me for a walk when I've got other things to be getting on with. There. You can look after my paperwork. Dr Juno! Remember what I said, Nurse Hendry. Slow down, stay calm. Right, stay calm. Right. OK. Cool ride, though. Take it away, Nurse. OK. Ooh. Time I got back to some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights run right up to the door. I'm rushing here and there. making all that noise? Nurse Hendry, can I have a word, please? Why is that child so upset? He's a bit frightened of hospitals, to be honest. Oh, well, there's no need to be. You should try calming him down a little. Here, I'll show you how. Hey, now what's all the crying about? He's frightened of going to get his x-ray, Dr Juno. Is that it? Oh, dear me. Tell me, do you like having your photograph taken? Yes. Well then, an x-ray machine does just that. It takes very special pictures of very special people. One click and it's all over. Now you don't want your tears to spoil the picture now, do you? Here. Wipe your face with this and Nurse Hendry will take you along to get your very special picture taken, all right? Good boy. Nice and calm now, eh? I wonder how my little waggy friend's getting on today. I love to skip in river sea pingo, river sea pingo, that's for me. You're doing very well, you're doing well, Rafi. Well done, my darling. Oh, that looks fantastic, doesn't it, Leela? Oh, I wonder if the hairdresser would cut Samson's hair. <laughs> Maybe give him a mohican. Maybe he can this guy. Yeah, you think he'd suit it? <laughs> oh, I don't think Dr. Juno you know, would like that. Oh, I'm only kidding, Samson. <laughs> mm. Sorry to bother you, Dr. Juno. But of a problem I think you're best qualified to deal with, if you've got time. Yeah, sure, fine. Oh, hello, Dr. Juno. Hiya, Tina. What seems to be the problem? Is it the knee? Well, yes, but the biggest problem is Georgia. 
She's not very happy that I brought her to hospital to have her knee checked out. She's going to start screaming any minute, I can tell. We'll just have to keep her calm, won't we? Hiya, Georgia. My name's Dr Juno. How are you feeling today? No! Ooh. Oh, so how's your leg? No! Do you mind if I take a look at it? No! Look, we can't really help you unless you... That is... I'll just clean it up for you, OK? And then bandage it. No, no! Oh, she's going to start screaming. I've heard her scream before when she fell off her bike. She will empty this hospital in two minutes flat. Well, I think it's best if we all stay calm. I'll just pop next door and get a few things, all right? <sighs> calm is the key. I've dealt with problems all day. And being calm has helped me every single time. But now with Georgia, I don't know what to do. Where did I go wrong? Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's house. Granny Murray told me all about her twitchy knee and itchy back. Or was it her nose? Anyway, while we talked, the children dressed Claude up as a seagull to keep us all calm. At seven o'clock, I arrived at work to find Nurse Hendry in a very agitated mood. I told him to take it easy and calm down, as that would help him and the patients feel a lot better. It proved to be good advice when a little boy arrived at the hospital. We were able to calm him down by talking about his fears of going for an x-ray. At two o'clock, Tina's cousin, Georgia, arrived with a cut knee. It was feeling very sore, and she was frightened of anybody touching it. But to make it better, I need to clean it. But I just can't think of how to calm her down. Now remember, sharing your troubles can half your worries. Sharing your troubles can halve your worries. Oh, of course. I need to find someone to share George's worries. And fast. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Here you are, Willard. This is Georgia. She's hurt her knee just like you. Now, are you going to be a brave bear? And let me clean up your knee. OK. And then I'll bandage it for you. Here we are. OK. It doesn't hurt, does it? No. All right, well done. What a good bear. Do you mind giving Willard a cuddle? He needs it after the day he's had. Oh. Now, Georgia, now that I've finished bandaging Willard, it's your turn. Are you going to be brave for me? Yeah. Yes. All right. Willard is a lovely little bear, isn't he? But I want to tell you about my other friend, Samson. He's my dog. Oh, you're a lucky dog, Samson. And we've had a lovely relaxing day, haven't we, girls? Oh dear, but I suppose we should think about packing up and taking you back home. Yes, Dr Juno will be coming to collect you. She will so, my good boy. <laughs> Dr Juno, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. <laughs> Look at that wagging tail. Oh, he was fabulous. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sharing your troubles can halve your worries. It saved the day. Oh, oh, oh gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, boy. Come on. 
Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, like hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a seagull to calm us all down. I must say, Dr Juno calmed me down by just listening to me chatter on about my aches and pains. Samson always makes me feel calm too, especially when we just sit together watching the children playing in the park. Samson calmed my wee friend when he got his hair cut. Then Samson was calmed when the children gathered round to stroke him in the park on our way home. And Dr Juno managed to calm a wee girl at the hospital when she remembered that sharing your troubles can half your worries. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.